Excellencies, members of the press, I am pr privileged to introduce the Foreign Minister of Panama, Mr. Javier Martinez Acha. Good morning, everybody. Your Excellencies, members of the press, I am delivering this statement on behalf of the following member states of the United Nations, Albania, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Canada, Chile, Costa Rica, Cyprus, Czechia, Denmark, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Estonia, European Union, Finland, France, Georgia, Germany, Greece, Guatemala, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Moldova, Montenegro, Morocco, New Zealand, Paraguay, Poland, Portugal, Republic of Korea, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, the Netherlands, Ukraine, United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, United States of America, Uruguay, and my own country, Panama. We applaud the Venezuelan people for the participation in the July 28 presidential election, despite significant challenges. Over 12 million people went to the polls and exercised their right to vote their choice must be respected. We noted that more than 80% of the tally sheets, actas in Spanish, published by the civil society and the democratic opposition, received directly from polling stations and corroborated by independent observers, show a different outcome than that reported by Venezuela's National Electoral Council, CNE. In light of the ruling by Venezuela's Supreme Court, we urge the CNE to immediately publish the presidential election voting results from all polling stations and outlook for the impartial verification of results by independent observers to promote credibility, legitimacy, and transparent electoral process. We take note of the United Nations Panel of Experts interim report, which found that the electoral process fell short of the basic transparency and integrity measures essential to holding credible elections. The panel reviewed a sample of the actors in the public domain, which exhibited all the security features of the original result protocols. Now is the time for all Venezuelans to begin constructive and inclusive discussions to resolve this electoral impasse and restore democratic norms peacefully in accordance with Venezuelan electoral law and the wishes of the Venezuelan people. We are gravely concerned about the reported human rights abuses and violations following the elections, including those involving repression, arbitrary arrests and detentions, killings, denial of a fair trial guarantees, as well as intimidation tactics against the democratic opposition including the rate of the opposition's headquarters. We express deep concern with the political motivated arrest warrant by Venezuelan authorities issued on September 3, 3rd for Emundo Gonzalez Urrutia that has forced him into exile. It is imperative to promote respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms in Venezuela, including the right of individuals to assemble peacefully without reprisal. On August 16, the OAS resolution, which passed by consensus, made the region's position clear. Our statement and actions at the United Nations, the OAS, and elsewhere are a testament to the strength of member states' commitment to promoting human rights and the rule of law. We fully support an inclusive Venezuelan-led process to reestablish democratic norms in Venezuela and stand by the millions of Venezuelans 
who continue to risk their life and well-beings for a more democratic, prosperous, and secure Venezuela. Thank you very much. Are you preparing or promoting a resolution on the elections of Venezuela, on the situation of Venezuela? Here today? Yes, not today. No, we, we are just reading the statement because, as you know, even though we have an enormous number of countries here, uh, we are in different stage in the Venezuelan process. For example, Panama has its own position, so I cannot talk before you because our position is well, well, well different to some of the uh, countries here, even though we share the same goal, the restore of the democracy in Venezuela. And what can the United Nations do at this moment? The United Nations is promoting the fight for democracy in Venezuela, is promoting uh, the fight for the rule of law, is promoting uh, the respect for human rights. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you so much.